morning everyone it's Saturday it's, it's the uh, 4th of March and it's around a little after 6 in the morning today what I, my plans are is to walk within the next two days to Waterford which is about 60 plus kilometers uh, today I'm going to head off to New Ross which is about 38 kilometers give or take and then I um, I originally had a plan to stay at a couch surfing, but I didn't find any takers in the New Ross area. So I brought on a handy little tent and sleeping bag, and we'll see if we could do some stealth camping. So stay with me, see how I get on. We're gonna show you the beautiful countryside as we walk and take breaks all the way on from here to New Ross, and then we head off to Waterford. Well, I don't know how much the uh, GoPro will pick it up because we're still not into uh, sunrise yet. Sunrise is about a half an hour away, but we're coming up to our first sign. It says New Ross is 35 more kilometers and Waterford is 61 more kilometers. We'll see if that picks it up. If not, just to let you know, today I'll be walking about 38 kilometers uh, for the whole weekend, uh, today and tomorrow. It'll be about 60-ish, 65 plus. Um, we're going to be walking through three different counties. We start in Wexford, we tip off in um, Kilkenny, and we finish up in Waterford. And we'll be in two different provinces. We have Leinster, and then we have Munster. Let's just keep going. As we're coming up to another marker here. Wexford six kilometers, New Ross 33, Waterford. Long, long way to go. Now the reason I'm going for this walk is I find walking very therapeutic. Last week we had a really busy week. Um, so it's a good way to get out and clear your head. I thought it'd be interesting to show the vlog of, you know, walking around the countryside in Ireland heading towards New Ross and then over the bridge and on your way to Waterford and then I'll take a, a bus public transport on the way back on Sunday. Now, yesterday, yesterday was another busy day um, and I ended up walking more than I wanted to. I was in a dress pants and dress shoes I ended up walking about 11 kilometers just because I had some some administration stuff to take care of in the town and then we were getting a check presented by uh, the young kids in uh, Wexford Town towards the, uh, the earthquake appeal in Turkey and Syria. So the four schools raised uh, 3,000, a little over 3,000 euros, which is a uh, fair play to them. So it was like the uh, Selsker College, the presentation, Loretto, and Peters College. So shout out to the, the young people in uh, the way that they were able to fundraise in for one afternoon so that money will go towards the uh, the victims in uh, Turkey and Syria so yeah so we're just gonna walk along this uh, stretch of the road and make our way into beautiful New Ross Okay, I'm gonna take my first break. I've been walking about two hours. So, just give you an idea, here's the pack I'm carrying. So it has my tent, which I picked up yesterday. And, you know, it's all loaded up. I have my poles, I have some water. What I'm gonna have now with some uh, or uh, vitamin C electrolytes in it and a flapjack just for energy till we get to our next stop. The next time I'm gonna stop will be in uh, Balanabula. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off my, sh my boots, let my feet air out a bit, have some water, relax, and then we'll get going again. And so here's 
my little break area. Not much, but I wait it here because it has the, the cement there, um, the way over for the cows going through the underpass. So I'll just stop here, chill out for a bit, and then we'll get going again. So we've done about 18 kilometers so far. It's uh, 9.23 in the morning. Just to show you what my view is around as I'm walking. It's very nice and scenic country surroundings, although it's all along the, the road. So my feet are getting a little bit tired. Um, we have, I'd say 21 kilometers till we get to New Ross. Probably about 10 till we get to Balanabula and have our our big break and change the old socks and and that but uh, keep going around there it's it's not too hot it's not too cold it's not raining so we can't really complain about that and we'll just keep going on nice house as they walk by. We just passed Cedar Lodge. We're heading up to Carrick Burn. Now my feet are absolutely on fire and I'm getting a little tired. Now I've done about 24 kilometers, 25. There's still lots of ways to go. So I'm gonna get to Carrick Burn here, take a break. There's a park bench there and I'll uh, put my feet up and I'll uh, take off my socks, let the feet air out. We'll see. Uh, getting all the way to Waterford now looking doubtful. Stay tuned and see if I make it there or make the Ross or do I change plans and end? I'm really not sure right now. It is, it is a hard old walk, especially on just pure concrete as you're walking on asphalt the whole way, um, you know, Last time I walked to uh, to Ross, I was preparing for the Camino, and I had already walked. I was walking almost every day, so my feet were probably more prepared. Um, I do walk about 16 kilometers on Sundays, and usually another eight or so twice a week, but it's not Camino worth. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I think once I have a few minutes break, maybe put on my old uh, hiking sandals. And we'll make our way towards Balanabula after we stop at Carrigburn. Okay, for those of you that uh, watched my uh, Carrigburn Hill uh, vlog, um, if not, I'll leave the, uh, the link in the description. This is where we started over there it's a nice little walk around there and it has some 1798 rel uh, relevance so i'm going to just stop here for a bit take a break see how far we have to go to the next stop which is balanabula okay so i had my little break changed the old footwear so i got on my uh hiking sandals changed the old socks Got a new pair of socks on. I put on two compedes because I had some sensitive spots. So now we're gonna make our way towards Balanabula. It says it's about 45 minutes. So we'll be heading down that way and uh, I got my old trusty poles to make it a little bit easier on the old back. So let's see how we get on on this next way. Made it to Balanabula. Up ahead, you can see in the distance the Centra. It's a place where I'm going to take a small break and decide how we're going to proceed. 
my feet are still in bits. I don't feel that bad though, but it's still been quite a chore. So stay tuned to see what happens. How do I get to New Ross? Do I get to New Ross? Do we make it to Waterford? Um, the next vlog will be a continuation of that. I'm just gonna stop it when we have this neck at Centra and then see how we get on from there. See if we make it into the new Ross and do I find a camping spot, a stealth camping spot? And what was the night like? We'll see. Okay, here's the little Sentra. I'm gonna sit over there, enjoy myself, and we'll see what we get onto in here. See what kind of nourishment I can find. There's even places to sit down here. Here's what it looks like. Let's see what I get.